Hey guys, welcome back to Five Minutes with Sarah. It is uh, five minutes with me, just kind of talking about life, venting, um, keeping you up with kind of what's going on in our life and all of that. So welcome back to Five Minutes with Sarah. If you like, um, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, it's just really me talking. Um, but yeah, we are. Uh, we had our first full week of school last year, or last week. <laughs> See, it feels like it's been a year already. Um, so we're one week into school. Morgan started middle school, so she's in sixth grade, and Hudson started third grade. So um, he has settled in very nicely, um, same school, same, you know, a wonderful campus and great teachers. So he is doing just great. Um, he's actually come home and, like, sets up his week for his homework. He's been really good about staying organized. And Morgan actually is doing great in middle school, too. She was a little nervous and um, scared, you know, just... Instead of having one or two teachers, now you have seven teachers, you have to change classes, um, you have to change for PE, so it's the first time she said to do that. Um, but honestly, the hardest part of middle school has been the transportation. I don't know how um, people deal with the bus situation. Um, she did not get on a bus the first two days of school. If you guys watched our back to school video, you saw the one... Um, the, the next day she didn't get, both days she was like, it was well over two hours. She was at the school still and no bus. Um, and then Monday came around and I went to go pull up the bus app to see how it was running. And she had been taken off the bus system because she never scanned a badge. Well, she never scanned a badge because she never got on a bus um, and a bus never came. So anyways, we were able to um, call transportation, get her back into the bus system, but she really didn't get a bus until that didn't happen until almost Friday. So Friday morning, we were like set to ride the bus and uh, the text messages came that they were running like 45 minutes late. And so that would mean that she would miss her first period class. Um, Morgan is my um, uh, very focused child. Um, she's a perfectionist. So I knew it would just set her day off. If she missed a class, she would be anxious that she would get a bad grade or get in trouble for that. So I just ended up taking her, but I said, let's ride the bus home. So she actually got on a bus on Friday. So she rode the bus home. Um, I'm not quite sure it's going to work for our family, the bus system. Um, she didn't get off a bus till like 515. Um, and most days we have to be at a soccer field by 530 or six o'clock. So I'm just not sure what we're going to do. So uh, daddy and I have been trying to figure out what's going to be the best thing to do uh, for Morgan and uh, her new school. Um, that's going to work for our family too, because we're a busy family. So that being said, I don't know. I, I just, um, you know, definitely been trying to help out where I can with some other kids, get them rides and stuff, because I mean, some parents are restricted to be at work from 7.30 to 4, or, you know, 8 to 5. And that type of situation just doesn't work. So I, I don't know what they do. Um, and honestly, like when I travel for work is why Aaron and I are trying to figure out a different uh, process because I do have to travel at times. Um, and when I'm not here, that's really, really hard on him. Um, so it makes you think about all those things, right? Like what's, uh, what is the best path and the best thing to do right now for our family? Um, you would think when they're younger that it would require more, um, and I think it it does, right? I don't I don't think any age is easy. However, um, most daycares are open from like six to six, right? I mean, it's just you have the ability to work, you know, work whatever hours, and and there's a daycare situation. Um, school is very different. And so now as they get older, I'm finding it harder and harder to keep up with all the things we have to manage. Um, and, uh, and their commitments get bigger. You know, we, you know, you saw last weekend, if you watched our video, we were in Orlando all weekend. So then this week I was trying to make up for that by getting laundry done in the evening or, uh, grocery shopping, like after practice, because we just, uh, we didn't get to do it on the weekend. And this weekend we've been super busy with fundraising. So we had two fundraisers yesterday. So Morgan and I were gone all day. Today we're getting ready to go do our club kickoff. So it'll, um, it is another big fundraiser for us, but it'll be another, you know, busy afternoon. So this morning we kind of focused on just trying to get the house cleaned and get the laundry folded and put away. Cause I know tonight we won't be back till later. Um, so been busy, but a good busy, a little, um, 
you know, uncomfortable, but uncomfortable is, is change, right? So change is always a little uncomfortable for me, but looking forward to next week and seeing what it holds. And I hope you guys are all settling into your new routines. If you went back to school the past couple weeks, or if you're getting ready to start school, uh, let me know, comment down below how you guys manage it. If the transportation works in your area and it, it works out or what you guys do when transportation just isn't, the bus situation just isn't going to work for your family. So I would love to hear from you guys. Please comment, share, like. Thank you for watching 5 Minutes with Sarah.